Are you looking for an easy keto or low carb dessert? I have just the thing. Make sure to stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we believe that health is true wealth, and it really all begins in the kitchen. Today we're going to be making Keto Tahini Chocolate Chip Bites. Let's begin by adding one half of a cup of tahini to a medium-sized bowl. Tahini is simply made up of ground up sesame seeds, which are high in healthy fat and protein, and they may also help balance hormones for post-menopausal women like me. For flavor, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Please be sure to use the pure vanilla rather than the artificially flavored. Just as the name implies, it's artificial, not really made of anything great. So try to use the pure vanilla if possible. For our sweetener today, I'm going to be using two tablespoons of powdered swerve, which is made out of urethritol and prebiotics. So you could also substitute this with Lakanto or your preferred sweetener. And as a side note, if you have a granulated sweetener that you really want to use, simply stick it into a bean grinder, grind it up until it forms a powdered consistency, and there you go. 1 8 to 1 quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, just depending on if your tahini had added salt to it. For an extra boost of nutrition, I'm going to be adding in two scoops of a clean sourced collagens powder. So good for your digestion, for your joints, for your skin, hair, nails, teeth, and bones. Mix up all of your ingredients really well. The flour I'm going to be using here is almond flour. It's high in protein and healthy fats. I'm using one half of a cup. Stir in your almond flour, and then I highly recommend giving your dough a taste here to see if you need to add in more sweetener. I ended up adding two more tablespoons of Swerve for a total of four tablespoons. Last, we have our Stevia sweetened chocolate chips. I'm adding in one quarter of a cup. Stir that into your dough really well. And now we're ready to scoop out about one and a half tablespoons worth of your dough, roll it into a ball, and then place onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Just as a quick note here, there are a lot of variables that can affect the consistency of your dough. So there's the amount of sweetener you used, the type of sweetener you used, whether you added in collagen's powder, and the thickness of your tahini. So if your dough is too thick, just add in one to two teaspoons of coconut oil, and if it's too thin, just add in a little bit more almond flour. Once you've rolled out all of your bites, place them in the freezer for about 10 minutes or so to help them firm up. I'm excited, I'm ready to give these keto bites a taste. I sprinkled them with a little bit of cinnamon for some extra flavor. These bites are super tasty. I really like them. I don't know if you've ever used tahini before in chocolate chip cookies, but it gives it a little bit of a different flavor, kind of like a nutty flavor. I think they are so good. So here is something to remember when you're giving your dough a taste to see if you need to add in more sweetener. I would make sure that you add in the chocolate chips with it because chocolate chips obviously are going to add in more sweetener and you may not need to add as much sweetener as you thought you needed to because I probably could have added a little bit less. These are so good. I hope you give these a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, I hope that you and your loved ones are happy and healthy and that you're enjoying your summer. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.